There's a new CNN national poll out this morning, and it is a doozy. Let's throw this up on the screen. Shows Joe Biden with a 16-point lead in, the, again, this is a national poll. Um, this was all taken after the debate, October 1st through 4th. Most of this data came in after the president's COVID diagnosis was made public. And if you dig into the numbers, if this is possible, it gets even uglier. Um, if you look by age group, Joe Biden is winning Every single age group, the place where it's closest is those 50 to 64 year olds where he has a narrow lead. But if you look at seniors age 65 plus, Joe was winning them by 21 points in this poll. That's a demographic that Trump won by something like seven points last time around. If you look at some of the demographic subgroups, Biden is destroying Trump with women with a college degree, 73 to 27 percent. Men with a college degree, it's a little bit closer, 57, 38. He's even winning women with no college degree, 53, 45. The only demographic subgroup here by education that Trump is winning still is men without a college degree, where he has a large 66 to 33 percent lead. So that gender gap is huge. If you look at every single issue that they tested, whether it's economy, racial inequality, coronavirus, health care, crime and safety, any of it, on every single issue, voters trust Joe Biden more. The yeah. narrowest lead that he has is on the economy, where it's roughly tied, 50-48. And the next one is crime and safety, but he still has a significant edge, 55-43. Yeah, and look, is, is Biden actually up by 16 points? Probably not. But, you know, look. Go look at the Real Clear Politics polling average, 9.2%. All right, that is the current average of all polls that Joe Biden holds over Trump nationally. Now, of course, you should and rightfully say what's going on in the battlegrounds is all that really matters right now. And part of the things, though, that I want to caution everybody against is that this time around, there are different battleground states than there were in 2016. True. The Arizona is now a battleground state. And we got a snapshot from Siena, New York Times, which is a very good A-plus rated poll. Let's throw that up there on the screen with some pretty stunning results for Joe Biden and for President Trump. Chose Joe Biden at 49 percent to Trump's 41 percent. But the part that really got me was actually not Arizona as a whole. It's actually in Maricopa County, which is, I think, one of the largest counties in America that Trump won. Remember, you know, no Republican really ends up winning a large urban population center except for Maricopa County. Now, in this particular case, this it shows you the suburban backlash against Trump. And you can see that he is leading nine points in the county, which accounts for over 60 percent of the entire state's population. Right. So this is the whole ball game in terms of Arizona. And it's just stunning to see. It is. You can't you essentially can't win Arizona if you can't win Maricopa right. County. I mean, it is such a heavy weight in terms of the population. So, yeah, that suburban backlash and the senior backlash obviously yes. has really put Arizona into a place where it's it's slated to be more blue than some other traditional battleground states based on the recent poll. I mean, it certainly looks to be more blue this time around than Florida, for example, yes. where the polls have been relatively tight. Um, a couple things that I think jump out in all of the polling that we've seen post-debate, which is that, number one, people absolutely hated the president's debate performance. Yeah, Even right. a significant chunk of his base say that he did not win. Um, a lot of people said among his base, like basically no one won. Mm -hmm. But everybody on the Democratic side essentially said that Joe Biden won that debate. And look, Joe Biden didn't do any great job. Really expected, he was just sure. like somewhat less annoying than Donald Trump. But, you know, it looks like in the post-debate polls, there has actually been some movement in Joe Biden's favor in, at a time when, you know, I really didn't think that the debates would actually matter that much. They appear to have given him a little bit of an edge because Trump was just so obnoxious and played into kind of the worst caricature of him at the debate. But there was also another thing here, which Joe Biden tweeted out, which I want to show you. Um, it's very simple. He did a, C a MSNBC town hall last night. Joe Biden did. He said this thing, masks matter. And that visual right there basically sums up the entirety of this campaign. Yeah. On the number one issue for people, the coronavirus, that very visible symbol of do you wear the mask or do you not, which says are you taking it seriously, are you acting responsibly, or are you not, 
that more than almost anything is what this effectively comes yeah, down to. Yeah, okay, look, let me break this down again. There's no reason that we should even be litigating this. 83% yeah. of the rural Americans wear masks, 89% of suburban voters, and 92% of urban people wear masks. This isn't even like a, this isn't even a political issue whatsoever. And yet, where does Trump and the Republican Party in general want to put themselves on the? It's like in a, it's like a contest to put yourself on the side of the most unpopular issues of all <laughs> it's time. Incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. Democrats are normally the ones that do that, by the way. Like, I it's want to shoot myself in the face watching an election get litigated over mass <laughs> when it should be about China and trade and how we're going to get the hell out of this mess and so much more. It kills me because. If Joe Biden can put himself on the side of mass and Trump not on the side of a mass, then it's game over, number one. But this is what you did your whole radar on. Then he doesn't owe anything to anybody. Nope. All he has to do is wear a mask and it is a victory. You want to live in that country where the president just has to do the bare minimum? Like, when we're getting screwed here. That, yep. I really, that's how I look at it. That is, it is pathetic that that is what it comes down yeah. to. And like, you're right, completely wholly unnecessary. Trump has handed Democrats an 80-20 issue. Crazy. That's best case scenario it's for them at 80-20. It's probably more like 90-10 yeah. that they've just handed to him. And so, yeah, Joe doesn't have to do anything other than wear the mask, act responsibly, you know, ask for basic precautions in these debates. We're going to cover that as well. And pledge to do a federal government mask mandate, which is something you can do like that. It's not hard to deliver on. doesn't make that whole much yeah, of a difference. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's but not legal. That's, but like, the bar yeah. has been so lowered <laughs> That that's all required of, right. of Joe Biden. The debate is actually perfectly emblematic. He didn't really have to do anything. He just had to show up and not be like completely obnoxious and outrageous. And he easily won. Yeah. That's been the story of this whole campaign. He I hasn't mean, had look, to do anything. Trump signs fake executive orders all the time, right? So why don't you sign one on mass? You know, if we're going to have fake ones, might as well. But hey, all right, you wanted to go the other way? Yeah. See how it works out. You do you. Okay. All right, more rising for you after this.